Hi Aries, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another September reading. So this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising and cross watchers connected to Aries just to see what's going on for you guys before September closes out. All right, I want to see what's, what's still in store for you for the month of September. Whatever energies come through, whether it's love, finance, energy related, I am going to relay that message. All right, Aries, keep in mind, this is a general message. Take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. If you are in need of a more specific message for your situation, make sure you check out the details in the description box to book a reading with me. All right, Aries, let's go. What you got going on in September, all right? So King of Swords. So you could be strategizing, all right? There's something you could be um, planning, Okay, let's see what this is. And Ten of Wands. Are some of you planning to move out? Okay, so the King of Swords with the Ten of Wands feels like literally writing in a planner, uh, strategizing a, a, a way out of something or a way to get rid of something, um, even a way to move. Okay, some of you could be looking at different um, apartments, filling out applications. Yeah, there's a new start here. Somebody's moving out. The fool here. Somebody's planning to move out. There's energies of you guys in September. You are, yeah, tower. So Aries, for you guys, the nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck feels like you're in a no nonsense energy. All right. I feel like right now you're in a space where you are planning a new future or a future that a lot of other people may not know that you're planning. So it feels like you're protecting your energy. You're protecting your, your, whatever your plans are. I don't feel like you're speaking about it. I don't feel like a lot of people know, but there's something that you've been contemplating for a long time that feels like it has to do with relocating. That feels like it has to do with re-strategizing something and this is the perfect time to do it at the time this message is being received for you guys it is mercury retrograde the time where you start to reevaluate things revisit things so there's something here you're reevaluating and you're thinking long and hard because you know that it is going to catapult you into a brand new beginning that could be a new house that could be a new uh, area it could be a new job but it is guaranteed here that something new is going to happen I'm also also picking up with this fool and the tower that as much as you prepare for it, as much as you're anticipating some sort of change or something big and new is coming in, the tower is you don't know when to expect this, no matter how much you're planning. So um, be careful of overthinking, right? So let's see what the king of swords, what you're actually um, working on here, because you're working on something. You have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Capricorn, Scorpio here. Mm, five of wands. Okay. So you are thinking your way through some sort of conflict in your life at this time. Okay. I do feel like some of you are dealing with maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here, and it, things haven't been going well with that person. So if things haven't been going well, some of you are starting to look to another sort of like an alternative to this relationship setup. So some of you could be planning to move out because maybe you and the person you are connected to, dealing with, living with, things may be getting intense, okay, in a way where it's causing friction, conflict, drama. All right. Um, I want to see where the 10 of wands is here because somebody is thinking about moving away from a person. All right. An air sign very strongly here. Air sign again, queen of swords, Libra energy. So look, yeah, the, the world is here. Something is ended. Something feels like it's closed out or it's been closing out for a while now. All it takes is accepting it. And so a lot of you are headed for a separation. The King of Swords is coming through. The Queen of Swords is coming through. And those are two energies that when they put their heads together, they can be unstoppable. But the Five of Wands with the Ten of Wands here, it feels like there's too much uh, tension between you and this person to really resolve anything at this time. And so that could be why you're planning your move when you need to. A lot of you know that this could happen at any moment, okay? This is that situation of somebody you are dealing with, whether you live with them or not, 
This person is pushing your buttons and it feels like it's gotten cold in your connection. It feels like there's not a lot of working together for you. And so a lot of you are just wanting to separate yourself, break free from this and start over, whether that involves another person or not is, you know, everybody's individual story, but you guys feel like you do want to break free from a relationship that doesn't feel like it's working. King of Wands, Aries, you're ready to step into your true self. You're ready to find yourself or re find yourself. Like, you know, this is, I, I've changed so much being in this relationship. I want to go back to being who I was. You know, a lot of you may feel like you're the real you is being suppressed in this connection. Like you're not doing things the way that you used to. Some of you may feel like you've given the person you're connected to a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of sort of, um, leeway in the relationship relationship and they may have taken advantage. So a lot of you are like, I need to get back into my boss energy, my confident energy with the king of wands. And so that's what you're looking forward to. The tower. Some of you could know this relation is headed for a breakup or a separation, maybe during Scorpio season, October, November. Um, Six of pentacles. You both play a part in whatever is breaking down in this connection. All right. The six of pentacles is, you know, there's something to reevaluate on both of your sides, right? There's something your person is saying that it feels like you may be ignoring or not really interested in. And there's something you've been saying that your person doesn't feel interested in or they could be ignoring. So yeah, it's very difficult to communicate in that way and make plans with somebody um, when that energy is there. So the six of pentacles is confirmation that yes, this may be a gift from the universe, a separation, but it could be a gift for your person too. Maybe there's a chance there's some sort of awakening or enlightenment coming in telling you this isn't the way you're like, this is trying to reroute you, right? Um, maybe somewhere along the way with this connection, you got off track. And so something is needing to happen with the tower here in order to get you back on track, okay? I don't feel like your relationship ends for good, but I do feel like if things are getting more tense, if things are becoming a little more difficult, that is happening because it's meant to make you uncomfortable so that you can get back into an energy that it feels like you've lost, okay? So let's keep going, Aries. What else do we have for you? for September. What's going on, Aries? Thank you. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this motivates you. Like what's happening? Yep. Seven of Swords, more strategizing. This actually motivates a lot of you to get out there more. This actually motivates a lot of you to start replanning, like rethinking some things you may have put to the side. This feels like if some of you were like, okay, I have somebody now. I'm going to let this person sort of take care of everything. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to, you know, just enjoy this connection. If the connection is starting to, in some way, um, fall apart, it feels like you guys are being forced to go back to the drawing board, page of pentacles, seven of swords, and come up with another way to do things in this relationship. Yep. Ace of cups or to make a decision about if this is the relationship you really want, or is it something else you really want? Ace of wands. So the three of swords is confirmation that the sacrifices that I feel like you're making right now emotionally are that you are not getting along with someone that it feels like you love and someone that feels like loves you. There's been a lot of ignoring each other. There's been a lot of talking down to each other. I feel like there's even ignoring one another, not knowing what the other person is thinking, not knowing what what's happening. And so you're, you are facing a threat in your relationship right now. I feel like the six of pentacles coming through though is saying that this isn't an outside threat. This is a threat about that conversation you guys had about money that didn't go well. This is a conversation about the fact that you need more room, more space, and your person is, is shouting you down when you try to get your thoughts across. So the page of pentacles with the seven of swords is there's a big moment coming in. This is why you guys feel so prepared and ready for something, even if you don't know what there is something coming in where you're situation can change if you make the right move, right? What is the seven of swords about? Some of you may get a new job. Okay. Some of you may get a call that can change everything. King of swords. 
It could be your person gets an offer for a new job here. The Seven of Swords with the King of Swords. We've seen the King of Swords in your reading before. So it is confirmed that a lot of you are dealing with air signs. Um, or this may resonate mostly for those of you dealing with an air sign. So like if you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer, you're like, what? This doesn't sound like my reading. That may be because this isn't literally, this isn't your reading, right? This is really a message for those connected to uh, air signs. But it doesn't have to just be that right i'm just saying for those of you that may find it's not specific enough for you there's definitely energy here that that may be because this is referring to uh, aries dealing with particular signs all right air signs are coming through very strongly so look i feel like you have somebody who's very smart who's very intelligent this person is planning something they could be planning something to restart this connection in a better energy um, they could be planning a vacation or something, something to bring the love back. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. This actually could be something that you guys are doing together. Now that I'm looking at it, this page of pentacles feels like an offer. Maybe we should go on a vacation. Maybe we should get a change of scenery. Let's see what this page of pentacles is about. Okay, let's try that again. All right, let's see why the page of pentacles is here. Because you guys have been fighting. Oh, this landed right on it. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like this Queen of Pentacles came out in the reverse because it's confirming that you guys have been having um, arguments or there's been some tension about money, how it's being spent, what you guys have enough for, what you don't. Something needs to change about the spending habits here. There's a lack of security in a connection for you, Aries. And so in order for this to have a fresh start, it feels like you have or you're about to um, bring an ultimatum to your person. Either this changes or I leave. We can start over with the Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands because I do still want to be with you. I have big plans for us, but I'm also embracing and accepting Three of Swords if we have to separate or break up too because something isn't working and it feels like it's tied to the finances here or conversations about finances that are not going well. All right. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.